how can you judge you are driving at a safe distance behind the car in front of you? No one's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to write these down, yeah? How can you judge? Yeah. Next. Question two. What is the legal minimum tyre depth? I'm going to give you a multiple choice here. Okay. Is it A, 1.6 millimetres or B, 1.3 millimetres? Right. Okay. Next. That was a guess. I won't <laughs> lie to you, lads. Most people just went, um, I don't have one of those tiny little measurement rulers that they have. Okay. Question three. A vehicle with a sign saying long vehicle is at least how many metres long? A, five metres. B, 13 metres. Or C, 18 metres. Okay. Right. Next one. Question four, what does a category W license entitle you to drive? <laughs> uh, what, what, Wellycopters what sort of into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, next one. W. Okay, five, here's a controversial motorway question. On the motorway, when are you allowed to use the middle lane? There's a lot of confusion over this one. Is it A, when you're overtaking, or B, when you're not getting off for ages? Okay, question, question seven. seven. When is it okay to break the speed limit? A, never. It's never okay. Or B, if you're overtaking a long vehicle. Okay, question eight. When can you drive on full headlamps in a built-up area at night? Is it A, in heavy rain? B, never? Or C, when there's no other cars on the road? Okay. Nine, what does the end plate stand for? The N on the end plate, what does it stand for? Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the final one? And finally, back to the motorway. When are you allowed to use lane three or the outside lane on the motorway? Sometimes referred to as the fast lane. Right. Is it A, when you're overtaking traffic in lane two or the middle lane? Or B, if you drive a premium German saloon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know I'm going to get one right. Anyway. right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, right? Let's tot this stuff up. We'll go, to, go play, take the ad break and we'll come back afterwards and see how we've done it, right? Yeah. Okay, Sinead's going to stick with us and we'll find out how you guys did as well in a few minutes on Today FM. Sinead gave us the questions and we gave our answers. And now, Gerber, I think you and I should swap our sheets. Uh, like you won't be able to read my writing. I will, Dave. yeah. Primary you, school. No, you won't be able to read my writing. Can well, we just say, can I say, he's well, refusing. Can I say well done to Eric, to, who managed to write down all his answers on a toilet roll holder? <laughs> the RSA would approve. Yeah, we agree, unlikely. Eric. Yeah. Uh, and right. My daughter thought the N meant nervous uh, on a car. Uh, so someone, it says Kerry in Longford. Okay, so Sinead, you've given us the questions very quickly, then give us the questions and the answers. So apparently we'll correct our own because Dermot says I can't read his own. element anyway. of trust involved here, guys. Yeah, go on. Okay, so question one was how can you judge you are driving at a safe distance behind the car in front of you? And the answer is the two second rule. So, yes. Sean two second it. rule is where you pick an object that the side of the road is a tree or a lamppost, watch the car in front of you pass that, and two seconds should pass before you pass it yourself. One, two. Oh, I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends how quickly you I said I said two broken white lines between you and the car in front of you, so I get a fat X for that. I just said leave six car lengths. Also wrong. Yes, you see, speed is a better measurement to go by rather than distance because it takes into account the speed that you're going. Right, okay, so. wrong on that one. So, okay, number two. Number two, what is the legal minimum tyre depth? And it was A, 1.6 millimetres or B, 1.3 millimetres. The correct answer is 1.6 millimetres. Wrong, I got it, 1.3. Wrong as well. <laughs> <laughs> you get that one, Sean. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Sean's flying it. Sean's on right, fire. Question three. Question three, a vehicle with a sign saying long vehicle is at least how many metres long? So it was A, 5 metres, B, 13 metres, or C, 18 metres. And the correct answer was B, 30 Yes. Oh, to qualify as, well. as a long Not vehicle. One right. That should be a long-ish vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. So question four, what does the category W licence entitle you to drive? And the answer is tractors and work vehicles. Damn, I said trucks. I have two axle vehicles. <laughs> you can't just make up your own answer. Well, you know the way on your license, there's something about axles. No, you have two axles in your car. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Every car with four, four wheels. Three, no, no, <laughs> nothing. Okay, five. Okay, five. On the motorway, when are you allowed to use the middle lane? Was it overtaking or when you're not getting off for ages? The answer is when you're overtaking. Yay. No, I said not getting off for ages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, six. 
what is the maximum distance you should park from the curb? And the choice was 30 centimetres or 45 centimetres. And the answer is 45 centimetres. Yes. Just short of half a metre. Yeah, wrong. Seven, when is it okay to break the speed limit? And the options were never or if you're overtaking a long vehicle. The answer is never. Yes. Never break the speed limit. So did you say overtaken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, I saw that, it in your it face. Was, it was designed to make you think that was. <laughs> okay, eight. When can you drive on full headlamps in a built-up area at night? The answers were in heavy rain, never, or when there are no other cars on the road. And again, the answer is never. never. Yes. Bloody hell. <laughs> I had never scratched it out and wrote heavy rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last two. Nine, what does the N on the N plate stand for? Well, not nervous. It's not nervous. Yeah. <laughs> answer is novice. novice. Way. Yeah. And then finally, when are you allowed to use lane three or the outside lane, sometimes referred to as the fast lane on the motorway? Was it A, when you're overtaking traffic in lane two or the middle lane, or B, if you drive a premium German saloon? And the answer <laughs> is, of course, if you're overtaking traffic in lane two. Excellent. Well, that gives me one, two, three. I got six out of ten. Dermot? Uh, I got three, which is ironic, <laughs> because that's 30%, uh, which is was the st statistic that started all of this, that 30% of us would fail the test, and maybe 30% would only get 30%. Uh. Like me.